From afar, everything looks good at the Adrigan Adma Primary School in Accra. But a closer look shows a deeper problem. The building is almost falling apart. Deep cracks have developed in the school building. The cracks can be seen at the base all the way to the middle and even to the upper part of the building. School children at the Adrigan Adma Primary School are scared. So this structure, I'm told, used to house classes four and six and also the ICT laboratory. Right now, this structure has been completely abandoned because the teachers and students say it has become a death trap. Now, the new structure in which they've been moved has also become a death trap because they say there are cracks in the building and cracks on top of the roof. Cornelius Akwese and Samira Mohammed say they are reluctant to go to school because they fear the school building will collapse on them. I can say the building is already collapsed because if we hear something break down like shouting, then we, then we realize that maybe it's the building that wants to collapse on us. So we try to run away from the class to come outside so that the building will not fall on us. The children say any time it rains, studies come to a halt. Sometimes when our teacher is teaching, the water drips on her from the cracks. So usually when it's raining, how do you cope? Sometimes we have to push our decks uh, to the different, to the veranda, so that the water won't drip on us. So sometimes when our teacher is teaching, we have to stop, she has to stop teaching so that we'll come here. When it rains, all the compound becomes uh, wet and water fills the whole compound. So this disturbs the students in the school a lot, when, especially when we are going to class because there's uh, muddy and all those can stuff, the stuff in our shoes. So when we get into the class, we go into the class with mud. And at times, the school becomes like a swimming pool. So we suffer a lot in this school. They want the government to, as a matter of urgency, address the problem before it gets out of hand. Mr. Joseph Omari leaves behind the school. He says the dilapidated nature of the school keeps him awake at night. What I see in this area is not very good at all. Our kids are suffering. Always the snake wanted to follow them at the school side. That is why I used to become annoyed. If the rain fall heavy, I used to pass the up there. The, the building is shaking, definitely. It's shaking. Teachers in the school say the situation is making teaching and learning difficult. So until the government comes to the aid of these poor ones, Cornelius, Samira, Frank and their colleagues will have no option but to continue to study in this death trap. Aisha Ibrahim, Joy News, Adrigano Adma Primary School.